Hi guys, welcome Dan here from the Magic Junk Drawer and we are up to our Scorpio friends for what is going on with your ex? <laughs> the bum ass ex under Mercury retrograde for our Scorpio friends. What is happening here? You're coming out of the restrictions that you imposed on yourself. So if you had something like, um, and Scorpio is very passionate, they're very, um, they're very deep. So if you are holding yourself back, you're breaking through that. And when you break through it, you break through it just as hard as when you hold yourself back. So there's no like intermediate ground when it comes to Scorpio, it's like full throttle. If there was bickering and fighting, you were arguing with somebody, that's starting to subside. The arguments are starting to dissipate. The star in reverse, you might not see your wish happen just yet. It can be like hoping and wishing, but it's just not happening, not yet, which is good under Mercury retrograde because when that turns around, then you'll have a better chance of getting what you want. The same thing with the sun in reverse. It's like a delay in happiness. Even when the sun is in reverse, it's still a pretty good card to have. It's like the best card in the deck when it's upright. When it's in reverse, it's still not that bad. So it could be like getting through this retrograde period to, you know, like climbing up the hill to get to the other side, and then it's all downhill. The three of wands in reverse, everything is in reverse. But you have, all right, look, you have the high priestess, which means you are using your intuition. The fool in reverse is leaping without looking, acting spontaneous, cutting off your nose to spite your face. And sometimes Scorpio is that passionate that they do that. You know, it's like um, you, you act with such passion that sometimes you don't stop and think first. You know, it is what it is. But I do feel like if there has been some kind of a, you know, you were holding yourself back. You're not holding yourself back anymore. Any arguments has subsided, but there is a definite delay with your wish, your happiness, and your progression in this situation if it's an ex that you want back. It could be that you're just moving on with your intuition, knowing your intuition, listening to your intuition, but yet acting, acting without thinking. But I'm going to pull two more cards because... I'm not really seeing anything here that has to do much with your ex. Okay, now we got the ex. The king of wands. So if your ex was a fire sign, which would be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, this could be that person. Or it also just could be somebody that has that kind of fiery personality or maybe has a lot of fire in their chart. The moon in reverse, secrets are coming out. And there is no greater sign than Scorpio to uncover secrets. There, nobody keeps a secret from a Scorpio. So if this person was hiding something from you, you are going to find out. You were, you're going to find out. And the delay in your happiness and the wish that's not happening for you, listen to your intuition. Be careful not to act too spontaneously. But I think you're going to discover a secret about this ex. And I don't think that... I think that whatever this secret is may make you realize that you're better off without them. Because when a secret gets exposed, it's usually something that, you know, they didn't want you to know it for a reason. But there are no keeping any secrets from a Scorpio. So <laughs> keep that in mind. All right, Scorpio, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, share us with your friends, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.